obliterated in a lot of like circles, but the wider part of the drop, you can already put down. Yeah, they wouldn't know. I'm hungry. And also, um, My apologies. My um, my phone had died. Ironically, <laughs> I don't know if that's a sign or what, but that's my died um in the midst of me talking. But um, yeah, like I was saying, everything was very much just business. It wasn't like <laughs> I was looking at him in any type of way of attraction like I was just doing business <sighs> so um yeah when they came I'm not gonna deny that there wasn't some type of um like I could sense I could sense his eyes his eyes on me and I can sense like you know there was some type of connection but I didn't pay into it I'm so sorry you I'm not sorry but I apologize you guys I know um some people are saying like data and stuff like that my phone had died so it was completely out of my control just now <sighs> Um, so I definitely did see that, but like I said again, I really didn't pay any mind to it only because I knew that um, he had a wife and I wasn't looking at him in that retrospect. I didn't look at him in that manner. Um, and yeah, they share with me, well, he shared with me um, some of his music. And then he had told me that, you know, he was a gospel artist or whatever the case may be. And I was like, oh, you know, I'm so happy for you. You know, again, like I said, at that time, there was no intentions on my behalf of pursuing him. I was just strictly business and wanting to give them um, a lovely service and customer service where they could relax and um, feel like they were pampered and they were cared about. That was my every goal. That is my every goal with every client is to make sure every client um, is comfortable and they're getting the, the, the customer service and attention that they deserve for what they pay. Don't read the comments, just speak. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. I will read the comments. Um, and so I wish there were a turn off the comments. I don't know if there's a way to turn off these comments. It should be open. I, it's, I believe so. The food, the food is in the, I didn't say that it wasn't closed. Is the food not upstairs? Okay, so the food is still in that room. Please, please. Um, okay, so again, um, I left off on saying, yeah, I never had intentions on him in that. I wasn't looking at him in that way. Like I said, I did feel like there was some type of connection, but I didn't even look too much into it. I was just like, you know, let me service this man and get these people out of here. Um, and we had little conversations. And like I said, again, you know, she had said some things that kind of triggered him, um, especially when it came to talking about the tipping part and the paying part. She said something that maybe has been a sensitive matter for them, I guess, because he has been bringing money to the table as well to provide. And she make it, um, I'm guessing before and previous experiences or whatever they've had going on, 
it came into my salon the first day and it was on some, you know, I was just like, you know, I, I don't know. I just want to get paid and just get tipped. That's all I said. I was like, you know, I don't know what you guys got going on here. I'm not getting in between it, but I just want to be sure whoever's paying, just pay me. I'm not taking nobody's side. Um, and I, we kind of left off of that. I didn't see them. Um, I didn't see them after that for like several months. Um, and Cece had called me maybe three, four months after she had got her pedicure done with me. She only got her pedicure done with me. That's the only service she has gotten with me was that one pedicure. And she was like, yeah, girl, you know, I'm a big celebrity and um, I can give you good business and I'm going to promote you and this is now I'm going to tag you, yada, yada, yada. Okay, well, she never promoted me in the sense that she was saying that she promoted me. She never tagged me. She never did any of those things, which I didn't look forward to it. I didn't even expect her to. But it's just the point that, you know, she's still going with these accusations that she sent me multiple clients. She didn't send me multiple clients. Four months after me not seeing them, she sent me one lady. Um, and that was it. Um, and then I didn't see Richmond again for like eight months from the first time of their service. I didn't see him for eight months. Um, and the day that she was there, um, she had seen some barbers and some cosmetologists or whatever that she had knew. And they were passing by my suite and it was like, oh, hi. You know, they were all speaking to her or whatever. So I guess that's how she connected. Well, I don't guess, but that's how she connected Richmond to the barber deed. Because he walked past. <laughs> they said, call. My real voice would come out. Um, <laughs> okay, let me not read these comments. Um, and so, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. so they come, they came past my room. They all seen her. And she's like, oh, I haven't seen you guys in forever. Whatever, whatever. Everybody was catching up. So, um, eight months later, um, he was, I guess, going to D. I don't know when he started going to D, but he started going to D there or something. And I was leaving out of one of my co-workers' suite. And, um, no, no, I had walked past D's suite. And I spoke to D because, you know, I know who D is or whatever the case may be. So... <clears throat> I um, had walked past D, and at that time, Richmond was in there getting his haircut or whatever. And um, I had went to one of my, my, like I said, my co-workers, colleagues, or whatever you want to call it. I went to their suite, and I was in there chatting. Um, and when I had left her room, Richmond was headed in the direction that I was going to go back to my suite. And I was like, I was like, oh, you look nice. <laughs> I was like, oh, you look nice. I was like, you work out? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, you look good or whatever the case may be. And um, he was like, um, so at this time, I don't know that. At the time, I'm complimenting him. I don't know that this is Richmond. Mind you, I have not seen this man in eight months since their first service. So I don't take the time to remember what he looked like or whatever. Like, I, I didn't see them no more after that. So I didn't know who he was. So, um, of course, I'm, I'm giving him compliments or whatever. And I'm like, oh, your arms look nice or whatever. He had like this muscle shirt on or whatever. And he's like looking at me crazy looking. And at the time, like I said, I didn't know who he was. But he's like, um, yeah, you know, you do, um, you have the spa here or whatever. I'm like, yeah. And he's like, okay, walk with me. So we like walk to my spa or whatever. And I'm like, so are you interested in getting some services done? Your pedicure, your manicure, you know, facial, you know, you know, what type of services um, do you need? And He's like, yeah, I need to get my, my feet done and my nails done. And I'm like, okay. I was like, did, um, 
have you ever been here before? Did anyone refer you? And he's like looking at me and I'm like, okay, well, let me just tell you the process on how to get your appointment. You have to send your deposit of $25 to secure your time beating slot. So he's like, he's like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can um, bring it back to you. I was like, yeah, but if you bring it back, you know, it's not going to like guarantee, you know, your appointment. You have to book the appointment by the deposit. You can't book the appointment without the deposit. So I'm a, I'm a hustler in my, my business. You have to be a hustler and you have to know how to secure, you have to know how to secure your clients. And that's just that. You have to know how to secure your clients and I have to make sure that I get money to hold just in case people don't show up to their appointments. And so of course I make sure I close the deal. Like I'm gonna close the deal regardless. Um, I don't care who it is, that's just me. I'm a go-getter. Um, and he sent me his deposit. And that was that. At this time, again, I still don't know who he is. I still don't know who he is. Um, and I didn't piece things together into the, the close of his appointment and checking him out. This is the killer. <laughs> <laughs> okay so like I said at this time I don't know who he is and I didn't put it, everything together into I collected information to put him into the client portal and his number wasn't in there and his information wasn't in there. So in my opinion, you're a new client. I don't know who you are. Um, so once we did all of that, we got to the realization and I'm like, have you been here before? And he's like, girl, you don't know who I am. It's, it's crazy. You know, I thought when you were talking to me, you knew who I was and this is then and third. And I'm like, no, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember you. I mean, how long has it been since the last time you've been here? I haven't seen her or talked to you guys. And I never followed them. I never followed them on Instagram. I never followed them on Facebook. I mean, literally, I've never had contact with those people from the first day that I've seen them. So... That's that. Um, that's the first part of that. Then we put everything together. And I was like, oh, yeah, you know, your wife came here. Da, 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 da. So at this point, it's very innocent. It was no like flirtation or anything like that at the time. It was him being appalled that I didn't remember him and him thinking that I did remember him and all that little revelation with that. Um, and going forth, we'll talk about the rest after how things progressed over the following months. But um, as far as in my marriage, let's let's also give the backstory on that um, because I do see some people like, oh, she's married and she has no like um, whatever you guys are saying about my marriage. Um skip the caveats and get to the point <laughs> you cannot get to a point to understand something you cannot you can't skip parts you gotta know <clears throat> you gotta you gotta break everything down so when y'all started the nasty that's what so when did y'all start the nasty that's what we want to know okay we're gonna get to that <laughs> but i'm gonna go really really slow with you guys because this has been a lot. Am I missing something? I thought she said TT and Richmond went together the first time. Yes, they had came to my salon the first time together. They did, but he went back another time a few months, eight months later, and she didn't remember who he was because he looked different and she didn't remember him. Exactly. Free, free Davis. That is exactly what I said. I'm happy you caught that. Like I said, again, they came there one time and she only got her pedicure done and um, he got his pedicure and his manicure done. And I never seen them after that. 
I got one phone call from her four months later that she was going to send me over a client that she was working on. And she let me speak to the client at that moment. And I booked the client's appointment. Um, that was the only client she sent me. Um, and I never heard back from her to do her nails and all these other things. Um, and I never followed them on any social media sites. So I never kept tabs on them to even like really remember them. <sighs> okay, so let's talk about my marriage. How am I saying that I don't know who he was? I didn't know who he was until we um, until I went to go put him into the portal and I asked him, have he, has he been here before and what his name was? Because even when he had booked the appointment, I still didn't know his name. Um, and like I said, I, I didn't know who he was until at the end of the service. And then I put everything together and I asked him for his information and got the phone number. And I'm like, so have you ever been here before? Anybody refer you, you know, whatever the case may be. And that's when he kind of made it like apparent that, hey, you know, I've been here before or whatever the case may be. And I'm like, oh, you know, now now it's making sense. You came here with your wife. So, again, at that time, I still had no interest in him because I knew he had a wife. Despite what my marriage had looked like, I'm not out here just. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so I wish that these people stopped trying to call. I don't even have Messenger. So you guys are trying to video call me and all that stuff. And I don't personally, this is the only way I'm talking to people is through this live. I don't want to talk to some people because some people are like being funny about their communication with me. And I guess you guys have this this picture that I'm this prostitute or something. Um, but surely that's not the case. So And see, that's what I mean by sometimes it doesn't even matter when you tell your 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 side or your truth because people still want to have in their opinion and in their mind what they want it to look like because it gives them something to talk about versus the fact that's just like with this whole, this is a fake page, this is a fake page, this is a fake page. And now it's like, oh, it's not a fake page. And you know, still now, even when you go on live, people are like, oh, this is a fake page, this is a fake page. But yeah, I see people um, making little comments about, I'm not wearing makeup. Um, I wish I had some makeup on, but makeup does not work on my face. It makes me look. That sounds not very humble. It don't though, you know. <laughs> it's so humble. But you don't have makeup on, that's just your skin tone. And my skincare routine, you guys need to buy some image skincare from me, okay? Okay, buy some skincare products from me. That's so humble. I am being humble. That does not sound humble. That don't sound humble. That sounds very, how, what is it? What is it called? What is it called? I forgot what it's called. What is it? Conceited. Cause yeah, conceited. I feel very conceited or self-centered. I'm not. You know I'm not. I know you're not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm very humble. 
I'm I'm thankful that God gave me at least a little bit of um a little bit. Yes, a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. I'm not a ten, but you're a nine. I, I ain't a ten, but I'm a nine. <laughs> I'm a nine point five. Can I get a nine point five? No, 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 no. For real, for real, for real. Okay, let's get back to the story. About my marriage. It's like, it's nice. Does the black I don't care. It's okay. Yeah, you can. I don't have any more clothes than that, no. Um, girl, it's like 3,000 people here. Let's not talk too much. Um, Hello, people. Y'all are nosy. <laughs> They talk, talking a lot about me. Exactly. What you talking about someone else for if you don't know the actual story because you're looking at someone else's story when that person could be a manipulator and liars. Now, mm-hmm. all I know is y'all is nosy because what is you doing on someone else? What are you doing on someone else's life? What's going to do with you? Who are you going to pay? You just nosy. <laughs> that's, that's what this is called. Now, that's what it's called. I know that word, nosy. Everybody <laughs> up on there is nosy. So if you're not nosy, get off and go home. Go get some sleep because it's probably like, what time is it? Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> Good. All right, so my marriage, as far as my marriage, we were already having complications in my marriage for the last five years. Um, it's a lot of DV involved. I, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the DV term. Um, but yeah, I, I went through a lot of um, turmoil and toxic behaviors. Is it bluffing a lot? Somebody said it's bluffing. Is it bluffing for you guys? Or is it just right? How you it? Is it bluffing? I mean, bluffering? Buffering? Mommy, you're so gorgeous. Is it buffering? Buffering. Can you guys hear me? Can you? Anyway, so. As far as my marriage, my husband and I have been on bad terms for a while. Um, but he hasn't been willing to accept a divorce. He's constantly okay, contesting yeah. it. Um, and when I've, I've left... Kiki. Okay, so yeah. Um, every time I've tried to leave, um, he's been very erotic. Do you guys know what erotic is? Um, and it has caused me a domino effect um, and financial cost every time that I've tried to leave the relationship. No matter how I've left it or tried to begin the separation process, because for you to file for divorce, you have to be separated for six months to a year in the state of Virginia. So... The process have never gone to that point because he had done a, a, a numerous of things that caused a lot of emotional damage and fear and, I mean, like a whole lot. So as far as in my marriage, it was already rocky before anything I'm not justifying the fact that my marriage was rocky, so it made it acceptable for me to have a boyfriend. But I'm also a person that's very transparent. I don't really hold anything. Um, And sometimes that can be a problem for me because I'm quick to tell something, Um, especially to my my spouse or the person that I'm with. Bluffing means you acting cute, girl. Oh. No, <laughs> I thought you guys were saying, like, the lie was buffering. Like, buffering for me means, like, it's glitchy, glitchy, glitching. Like, you can't hear nothing. It's, like, delay or whatever the case may be. <laughs> this is your acting cute. <laughs> this lane, somebody has to help me. 
She's wasting my time with this sick story. If it's wasting your time, you don't have to be here. But people who genuinely want to know my side, this isn't a waste of time to them because you got to know the backstory before you make judgments and accusations and put these titles on me and call me out my name and say I'm a prostitute and say I'm this and I'm a hoe and I'm a slut and you guys backlashing me and saying that I ruined this man and this and that and third, like... Again, like I said, I am very sympathetic to him and how this has affected him. And it hurts me a lot. It hurts me a lot. Um, as far as in glitching is buffering. <laughs> okay, well, you guys don't know what I'm trying to say. No, and you know, another thing is, I don't care what you guys say about me per se, um, but I would like for you guys to know my 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 part in peace. Not not like to someone said like I was um, making mockery or like playing with you guys or something like that, and that's that's not me. I, I I don't need to fabricate stories and I don't need clout. What do, what do I need clout for? I never even get on Facebook or any of these things. And the only reason why I got on Facebook is because things had got revealed so much and so many things were coming back to me. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then I found out clients were seeing things and clients have received videos. I mean, Anyways, um, like I said, as far as my marriage, my marriage is very rocky. I would say that we were separated. Um, I was separated on my behalf, and I made it clear that I wanted to divorce. I made it very clear. A lot of people who know me personally knows that I've tried to um, separate from my husband on numerous occasions, and every time I did, I've even had sugar put in my BMW. I've had my tire slashed. I was um, harassed at my family's house. All the way down to North Carolina, I traveled 14 hours to get away from situations to have bank cards canceled, for, um, phone numbers being SIM swapped. I mean, a lot of things. So, again, I'm not trying to justify my actions as because I was in an unhappy marriage that I was trying to get out of, that it was okay for me to sleep with someone else's man. But, again, I didn't make his dick hard. I don't know if that's how to say, but I didn't make his dick hard. And I didn't see him until eight months later. And even when he came back, it was strictly business. I, I didn't pursue him. And I don't think you guys comprehend that. I did not actively pursue him. I didn't, he come to my job, I do his services, and then, oh, now I'm calling his phone, texting him. Never. That was not the case. I just, that first thing needs to be clarified. My marriage, for one, that needs to be clarified. For two, I'm not justifying it. For three, I didn't actively pursue this man at all. When he came back eight months later, it was strictly business for me, nothing more. I gave him a compliment, that was it. I didn't call his phone after that. I didn't text him, I didn't call him. Like, none of these things, none of these things. How does your hubby get those videos? So I was texting him on the bed and he was saying, so when he, I had got sick and I wasn't feeling good um, for a couple of days. And it was just, he was like, oh, something's weird about you. What's going on with you? And I was going to the doctors and I really wasn't telling him what was happening with me. I try to add this person. I guess they don't want to be added. Yes, I'm in the same state. Um, all right, they don't want to be added. Okay, I'm going to try to answer some of you guys' questions in these comments. I was trying to add 
people just to see if they have something they want to ask me that I'm willing to talk about at this moment. Um, but um, I didn't actually pursue him. That's one. When he came back, I was just strictly business. I was trying to pursue him. I didn't call his phone. I didn't, I didn't violate anything because at that point, I knew he was married. So I wasn't trying to... Uh, this crazy stuff you guys are saying about me. If you're confused, you're just not listening. Here, some people want to come on. Let me just, because there's too many comments and you guys are, everyone's saying different things. I, I need Jesus. Believe me, I go to church every Sunday and I'm on Bible study on Wednesdays. Yes, I actively seek the Lord. So just rest your body. I don't need to lie. I don't need to lie at all. Hi. Oh, you're pretty. I love the blind. I'm definitely a blind fanatic. <laughs> How are you, darling? I mean, I'm... I'm handling it as best as I know how because I know that my it's weren't um, pure. Um, unfortunately, it has affected some people who are counting on him um, and definitely him. Um, I haven't mentioned CC yet because I, I'm not trying to try it, but before I came into the picture, they had already had issues right. going on that he had kind of discussed with me. And that's what kind of made me and him really connect with each other when we started talking and to know each other is that, you know, we share similar issues. Yeah. So I know she may feel hurt or angry or whatever. I don't know. But I'm just trying to say my piece because you know what I do. People are saying a lot of things about. Me. I think um, I think you're in rich. The reason why you guys responded, right, was you guys had similar situation where you in your marriage is not getting the love and respect that you need, and he in his marriage is not getting the love and respect that he need as well too. So that connection became intensified because you both was looking for the same thing. You get what I'm saying? So you could feel the energy because you were looking for love, attention, and respect, and he was looking for love, attention, and respect. So right away, when that two energy met, it's like a magnet is connected, okay? Because he was looking for something in a woman that he found in you. You were looking for something in a man that you found in him. Right. You know? Because... Both of you wasn't getting it from your partner. So both of you were two broken people in a messed up, you know, marriages, right? That saw something in one another. And the connection at the time seems um, bad because you guys are married. If you guys were single people who was not married, the war was going to be okay with that. Right. But because you both both are married, so the war is upset, but the war is not looking at it at a deeper level to say, okay, the reason why these two people connected because they both are missing the exact same thing. Okay? You both are missing. It's like two people who have experienced abuse, okay, in, in, in the childhood growing up. The mean the mean their their bond is gonna be stronger than somebody who has experienced abuse, but mass no matter who have never experienced abuse, that connection is going to be hard to connect because you don't understand the other person and the other person don't understand you. But in you and Richman case, he understands what you're going through because he's going through similar thing and you understand what he's going through because he's going through similar thing as you. Right? Um, there was a lot being said about you when it comes to CC, okay? Yeah. And that's why I wanted you on my platform. I was glad that you accepted me to be on here today because there's a lot of things that CC was saying. First of all, CC was saying, making it seems like she never knew you from nowhere before. She's never met you, you know, like 
and it didn't make sense to me because for a man to bond with a woman a man will not just bond with a complete stranger just like that there has to be some common area where they met and became comfortable okay and i even said last night on my platform i said i want to believe that cc introduced rich men to this girl that rich men did not out of the blue just walk into a facility to get his nails done and then later on and on camera he was introduced to this girl and later on started to get comfortable with her okay i honestly get getting a lot of bashing but this should be a lesson learned for a lot of people that when you have your relationship even on your husband's side it should be a lesson learned for him too that you need love you need care you need respect you need attention okay same thing on city side there should be a lesson learned for her too that she need to love her man she need to respect him because even the way she talked about rich men today on a live video that he's a liability to her how do you speak about your husband like that that he's a liability because he just came to the because he just came to the u.s he's not self-sufficient and independent if he was somebody who's been here for many years you won't be saying he's a liability because he will have a career you will have a job he'll be making his money he will buy his own car he will buy his own house and you will probably basically be staying with him but because he's just coming here you're taking advantage of the situation and saying that he's a liability to you so if you call your man a liability does that make you a better wife? Does that make you a better woman? No, it doesn't. Because a better woman would not come to the public and tell the public that a man is a liability. So which means you have no value, no respect, no love, and then you still want him to be committed to you. That shit don't work. That shit don't work. No matter what the situation is on the internet, your goal as you claim from the beginning when she first started she said she's gonna love her man she's gonna be there for him she's not going anywhere and stuff like that but then later on the story starts to change okay he's a liability people don't know i'm the one who's been taking care of him like this girl was saying before that every concert that rich man was going to he was making ten thousand dollars per concert okay now today she's saying today she's saying that he was making 500 he was making 700 dollars like she, she's trying to put this boy down she's trying to make this boy devalue to make people feel like nobody really interested in him nobody really want to work with him that it's because of her that people are feeling sorry and, and want to work with this guy she's telling people that she even putting her own money into it can you imagine she's even putting her own money into it to fill out the spot that people are unable to pay for right right yo habla espanol poquito mi nombre arnel cruz I speak a little bit of Spanish. I, I heard that you said you, you, you speak Spanish mucho. Mucho español. Yeah, sí. Tu habla yeah. español mucho. Si? Sí? Mi nombre es Anel Cruz. Yo habla español poquito. I wish I knew how to speak I was more fluent. Then we'll just go Spanish on them right now. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah? We'll just go Spanish on them. But, <laughs> but because my Spanish it's a little bit you know my my husband is latino okay i'm married to a spanish guy my husband is latino i'm a liberian too so i'm from the same country that rich man is from you know what i mean i'm a liberian but i'm married to a spanish man so when i heard you said you have like espanol mucho mucho espanol i said hey you know yeah this is my, my spanish sister hmm? yes okay <laughs> this is my latino sister Okay, two, two familia. You are my family. Eh, mi familia. One second. ¿Sí? One second. Uno momento. Sí.
Get at the computer. No, he's not kidding. She did Thank you, Nan. Thank you. She can't come back. Uh, my, lo siento. You know, you say some key points, and I'm not just, like I said, I'm not justifying because we have these marital issues. But yes, it did bring us closer to, because we shared the common things together. And I comprehended where he took right. himself, and I believed in his goals. And I, I, I seen his strength. I seen his strength outside of the physical realm. I seen the emotional strength because as a man, that's a lot to bear for a woman to control all your finances and decide how much money she wants to give you when she wants to give it to you. But also while we go into, Imagine. we began to also have, we had guilty cautious. It's not like we didn't feel guilty. Oh no, it's okay for us to do this because da, 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 da. no, we, we did feel bad. Unfortunately, as we tried to pull away, it was hard for us to pull away from each other. So it progressed. Right. Right. And you know, see if be talking all these things on social media. See if be putting Liberian women down, okay? And telling Liberian women they that they are useless. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> they are no good. And they are lazy, okay? All sorts of things she be saying to Liberian women. But now, with this situation, she wants Liberian women to show her some love. Y'all can say anything y'all want to say about me in the comment section. Eh? No. Not even my problem. Eh? Y'all can say whatever you want to say. Eh? It don't move me. Y'all already know. I know how to handle y'all. Eh? You guys are my people. I know how to handle y'all. Y'all can move me. Y'all will say whatever y'all want. Hmm? Y'all will not move me. Jamal CC can jump in people's business. You will jump in for business. Eh? You say, I never want to belong. She's my Spanish sister. Hmm? She speaks Spanish. I'm married to a Spanish man. I got Latino children. Eh? I got Latino. Me, me, me. Eh? My, 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 my boys are Mexican. Eh? Me, me, me. Americana. Okay? So, I don't have time. They can say whatever they want. Eh? I'm here to defend my Latino sister. I will not sit down here and let anybody drag you. Okay? Jennifer Sissi can be in other people's business. Other people will be in her business too. Okay? She want to make this look like it is all your fault. She want to make it look like a useless woman. But at the end of the day, she don't see that she has no respect for this boy, she only used him to gain attention. That's well, what she, she does. She, she used rich men to gain. She said she was racist and she didn't she like American women. And it's confusing because you say you wanted to support me because I was a black American, but you and say you're racist and you don't like. They disgust you, of women. We're disgusting. We have no morals. We're not cultural. We're not. Those what she said to you? Yes, that's what she Those said to me. She said she's yeah. black American women? Yeah, that's what she said. And I'm mixed, actually. Like, I'm actually mixed. I'm American, but I am mixed. <laughs> but she said that you she doesn't like American women. You make a what? <laughs> you make a what? What do you mix with? Um, Dominicana, black and white. Okay. Oh, that's that's a good combination. <laughs> that's a you you got best of everything. <laughs> you got best of African, best of Latino, and best of white. Yeah. You got best of everything. Hmm? Yeah. See, she lives in America, but yet and still she want to put American women down. <laughs> but she still lives in your country. Eh? She still lives in your country, but she want to put you down. And make you feel like you're nothing. So how can you be living in America and you want to tell American women that they are nothing? They say you can't be on the wings of an eagle. You know when the eagle is flying, right? And the eagle is transporting you on the back of the eagle, right? The right. eagle is transporting you. Then you tell the eagle that the eagle arm is sting. The eagle gonna throw you up. 
So you want to be in America, but you talk all this crap about American women. <laughs> now American women sit that in your home, then you piss off. <laughs> and you say all these things about American women, though. but American woman <laughs> ride that dick. Girl, <laughs> that, that video. Oh my God, they think, think they were the first girl. I saw that video on Snapchat. I'm like, I'm like, damn. On Snapchat? <laughs> like, my mind, I was like, oh, girl, you on Snap. You on Snap. <laughs> you you famous. Don't you see, just from yesterday, you got over 13,000 followers. You, Jenna CC says she's going to use the moment to become a millionaire. You will also use the moment to become a billionaire. Eh? You, you're trending right now. Oh. You are the most trending person in the Africa world. Like, Liberians, you were taught that you can't talk no more. This is my Spanish sister. Mm? This is my Spanish sister. So she's not going anywhere. Oh. You are welcome, mi casa to casa. Eh? Mi casa to casa. You are welcome to Liberia. You are one of us now. Hmm? Going to You. And if you start like this thing. Oh, yeah. Eh? Mi familia. My family. Eh? And if you start like this thing. Breaking up just a little bit. My, my connection is very bad. That's, that's like you will manage it. And if you start to drag it. You oh, it's must breaking up so thing. bad. And she can you hear me? It's not to drag it. Drag it. I hear you say drag it. <laughs> like, you know, women. Yeah. Huh? No, drag means to prolong. So, to make it. Don't worry, I will teach you the Liberian Koloqua. Hmm? By the time I'm done teaching you, you will become a Liberian overnight. Okay? Right now, you are training. You went from 5,000 followers this morning. You got over 13,000 followers. That's big. That's big. Okay? You are trending everywhere. Wow. And continue to trend. Continue to promote your business. Okay? Yeah. The thing In is, other words, you say I'm a little bit you said to promote myself. Of course. Why not? Because it's she like the circumstances, to too. sometimes it's like the circumstances I didn't expect for, I didn't understand when he told me like, this would be bad. Like yeah. it will be like a lot of people involved. When he told me what had happened and the media had got these videos, I didn't understand what he was saying. And it's like, it's a little like, what in the world? Like, you know, it went from just something small people say this and that to, have thousands and thousands of requests and everywhere I look it's like over 50,500 this and 100,000 this and I'm like I don't want people to think that I'm looking for clout I don't want people to think that I caused oh, girl, girl 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 me okay you ain't chasing no clout here okay just how they think you're looking for a cloud, they they said looking for a story. Mm? Give it to them bit by bit, bit by bit. Don't rush to give them anything. Eh? Don't rush. Let, let me tell you now how long it takes for the librarian content creator to get over 2,000 plus views eh? for life. It takes them years. You accomplish that in less than a week. Okay? So don't get them everything right away. Get them bit by bit. Maybe every two, three days you get a little bit. Every two, three days you get as you as you drop one small T, you know, T is a G's, okay? As you drop one small G's, <laughs> you promote your product. Yeah. Okay? You promote your product. Right now, they all want to know if you're pregnant. <laughs> Keep that T. <tea>. If <laughs> <laughs> you're pregnant, you're not pregnant. That's what I to find out. Don't release nothing. Don't say nothing to them. Okay? Yeah. If you're pregnant, you're not pregnant, keep that tea to yourself. Eh? It's for them, it's for you to know and it's for them to find out. Eh? 
If they want to find out, they will have to go step by step, month yeah, by month. They will have to saying. go through like, the nine months for you. Yeah, and that's what I was saying. Like people were like, "No, you need to get to the point." It's no way of getting to the point until I break everything down into a series because it's too much to just say. It's too much. You would get confused. You people are getting confused mm -hmm. already, and I already share with you the basis, the basis of the beginning, and you are confused. You know what? <laughs> you know what? You know what? Mm -hmm. Familia. Yeah. Right now, don't get in everything. Turn it. Turn your whole fucking relationship and this whole fucked up and this whole good, sweet enjoyment of your new relationship. Turn that shit into a book. If they want to know the whole detail, let them go buy your fucking book. Right. Write a book. Publish. Your book. Don't give them anything for free. First of all, they ain't sending you stars. Secondly, they ain't send your cash app. They ain't send you money in your cash app for you to take care of your situation. So who under all of that? Write a book. Okay. Your app that put everything in a book. Even if it's a hundred page book, put that shit in the book. The one to know and let me go buy your fucking book. <laughs> let me just then do your introduction. Huh? Put that shit in a book. Don't give them your story for free. They ain't paying. They ain't paying for it. Put that shit in a book. They want to know if you're pregnant. Put that shit in a book. You know, a lot of a lot of Africans don't like to read. So if they really want to know your story, they'll go find our book and read it. Okay. They'll go <laughs> buy your book they want to know you're pregnant put it in a book they want to know how good the sex was put it in a fucking book they want to know how many rounds <laughs> how many rounds he fucked you put that shit in a fucking book eh? yeah and since she says she's gonna be a man here make yourself a, a fucking man too <laughs> yes <Girl. laughs> yes yes i agree okay I, I love I love your energy and I love I love how you came in here ah, is it glitching are you talking and I'm talking to no I'm good I can hear you we can hear you okay you're good you're good I really I really needed this I really needed to hear this from, from someone that reassurance. I love your energy and I love your spirit. You have such a beautiful spirit. I really love it. And I love the kindness that you show and you have love. Like your heart is not hard and you don't have like intentions to kill people. And I appreciate that. I would love right. to share my number with you. I don't know how to like get your information so we can share a lot yes, together. You can, go to, yeah, you can go to my African Mexican family because that's my platform. It's called my African Mexican family. You send me a message on there. You send me your number, and we're gonna connect, okay? And trust me, when your book is out, don't don't from now on don't say anything to them. Take your laptop if you have a laptop. Take your laptop and start writing. Your shit. I've been writing. Mm -hmm. I've been writing, and the book is gonna be a series too. <laughs> <laughs> I have to read many series to get to this stage. I wrote my life. I wrote, Mira. Mira. Yes. I wrote my life into a book. My life is a book. Mira. My life is a book. I wrote my life. I'm a writer. I'm a writer. Okay? I'm a writer. Powerful. My book is called The Survivor Story of I Now, a Girl from Africa. Okay? Powerful. And my, my book is also a series. So make your book a fucking series. Yes. Okay? I'm so happy. Make your book a fucking series. Acquaintance. I am so happy to meet you. And I don't believe nothing's by coincidence, but everything by divine intervention and i am so happy to meet another author keep saying i'm going to be a royal a world renowned author a world renowned author i keep seeing it and i keep saying it and i'm still writing my book, this is confirmation my book my book is it's on Amazon, it's on Kindle, it's on Barnes and Noble, it's on Smashword, it's on Goodread, it's on Apple Book, it's on any reader okay 
It's on all major platforms. Write your life story into a book, okay? Make it into a series. Then you turn that shit into a movie. Then you turn that shit into an Absolutely. episode. Absolutely. Okay? You, you're going to get both the black and the African community. Absolutely. Okay? You're going to get both the African community and the black community supporting you. I don't know if we're okay. glitching or not. So don't, don't explain anything. On yes, I can hear you not. now. Huh? I can, like I said again, I appreciate you, Mia Moore. Mi princesa. Te amo mucho. Te amo mucho. Okay, send me your number. We're going to talk. Okay? Mi casa, tu casa. Quiero mucho. Princesa hermosa. Te amo. Okay, what's up? Adios. Sí, adios. Adios. Adios, mi amor.